السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Give me a quick second, inshallah. Is the sound okay? Yeah, it is okay. All right. Okay, inshallah. All right. Let's see. You can see my screen. Now you can see me, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Mashallah, we have nine people online. Okay. Inshallah, we start. Inshallah. Okay. Good. So, Nahmuduhu wa nusalli ala Rasulihi al Karim. Amma baad, a'udhu billahi min al Shaytani rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى إن هدى الله هو الهدى وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم من تعلم القرآن وعلمه صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله الكريم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفكه كولي اللهم أرحمني بالقرآن العظيم وج الحلی امام و نور و ہد و رحم وج الحلی حجت یا رب العالمین رب یسر ولا تو اسر و تم بالخیر آمین سما آمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایوری ون تو الحمد للہ ونس اگین ود دا ایکسٹریم مرسی آف اللہ سبان تعالیٰ We are all gathered here today, inshallah, to, to learn the book of the Holy, you know, book of Allah, the Holy Quran, and the, the language of Jannah, inshallah, the Arabic language. And today, alhamdulillah, we are in session number seven. And I want to collectively feel with you guys and understand that we have, mashallah, covered a lot of material, right? And especially, we have covered Jumla Ismiya. in quite detail. Do you guys agree with me on that? Yeah. Yes. So Alhamdulillah. So today, I want to take you a little bit more fine-tuned into Jumla Ismiya. And, and in, in the process, we will do a recap and we will also add some bells and whistles and give you a little bit more information about that. Uh, how are you feeling about this whole understanding of this this concept just maybe one or two people can give me a quick uh, feedback are we feeling okay are we feeling confident are we feeling that we are good alhamdulillah so far so good okay good mashallah so feeling energetic uh, and alhamdulillah okay let's try this um i'm going to do my ipad here so that i can write down a few stuff Okay. All right, it's connected. Okay, let's see if I can open the, what are the notes? Is this the notes? Yeah. Okay. So can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. So let's create a new one. And um, so what we learned so far that in Arabic language, we have Jumla. Yeah. yeah. And then the Jumla is of two types. Uh, Jumla. Ismiya and Filia and Jumla Filia. 
yeah so if you want to to feel better in the whole quran you are either going to come across a jumla ismiya or jumla fi'liya yeah and alhamdulillah we have learned quite a bit about jumla ismiya and this took us three semesters or three classes and it was not only about jumla ismiya first we had to learn what are the parts of speech what is an ism what is an harf what is a verb and then we had to really get to the depth of the knowledge of the ism and once we did that we got to jumla ismiya yeah and inshallah in the future courses we are going to go after jumla fi'liya so guess what will happen once you grasp both of these concept anywhere you read in the quran you will be able to understand both right is that going to give you a good feeling inshallah inshallah okay inshallah. so before we go into jumla ismiya we know that we have been learning ism and there are four things we need to know about ism which are the most important one the uh, jins yes. the adad kism the kism era era yeah and english we call it gender number type and the status okay so we know that gender could be either male or female so any any name any ism we we'll deal with we can understand whether it is for a male masculine or feminine including both living and non living right when it comes to other we have single dual. we have dual plural plural yes no problem there and the type is whether it is common or common dual. or proper yes okay the status we know that it should be rafa nasab jar nasab and yeah. at this point we should not have any confusion about this do we have any confusion about this yeah. no and if you do then the problem is not with the understanding the problem is with the review or the problem is to to practice yeah. yes yeah. because i think in the last six and a half months we have done numerous examples right have we done a lot of examples lot of it okay good 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 so now if we go think about jumla ismiya by itself you're going to find three variations you're going to find muqtada babar yeah then you can also find muqtada khabar mutalli yeah yeah okay then you will find muqtada and mutalli right that the khabar is hidden so this will become this will become khabar agree yeah. when the actual khabar is missing then and if there is mutallik then that mutallik is the substitute khabar yes yeah. okay what is the example of mubtada number number 1 zaidun salihun salihun yes yeah. okay so zaidun salihun and what do we know about mubtada that is supposed to be yeah. marifa yeah. and is supposed to be rafa yes and the khabar is supposed to be nakira and is supposed to be rafa yeah. yeah the other two categories the jins and the the number they follow each other they i mean they will be in in uh, if singular singular male male female female right we know that right okay the example of second one will be zaidun maujudun fil baiti 
Zaid is present in the house. So we have the Muqtada, we have the Khabar, and we have the Mutalik. Yes? Yeah. Is everybody able to follow what I'm saying or are you feeling lost here? Yeah. Okay, good. Then the third one is Zaidun Fil Bayti. So what did I do? I took the khabar out. Okay. But if I tell you Zaidun Fil Bayti, isn't it the same thing I'm saying Zaid is in the house? Yeah. Zaid is present in the house and Zaidun in the house does it make any big difference? No. no. So here we have the muqtada and the mutallik and that has become our khabar. Yeah. Why do we do this review today? Because today I'm going to show you a variation, number four. In the number four, what will happen? This mutallik where is it? This mutallik will come in the beginning and then we will have muqtada. Okay, is mutallik is also khabar? Yeah. So is the khabar first? Yeah. And the muqtada is second? Yeah. Okay, so in this, in this scenario, we call it Khabar, Mukaddam, and Muqtada, Muakhar. Right? Muakhar mean delayed. Yes. Muqaddam mean first. Yes. So if you if you read the Arabic books, if you read Khabar Muqaddam, Muqtada Muakhar, that means we have switched the places of the Muqtada and the Mutalib. Is this concept clear yeah okay now the next thing i want to tell you about mutallik so far we have seen mutallik as murakkab jari yeah murakkab jari is what jar plus ism majroor yeah so when I said in the last sentence, fil bayti is fi jar, yeah. yes, yeah. and al bayti is the ism majroor. majroor. Yeah. This combination is known as murakab jari. jari, and murakab jari in the nominal sentence is mutalik. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yes. So today we are going to look another one. It's going to be Zarf plus Isam Majroor. Okay. And these two combinations together, or whenever you see this, it is known as Shibu Jumla. Jumla. Okay. So with this introduction, I want to take you. First of all, introduce to you what is the zarf and what is the isam majroor. And then these murakab jari and the combination of zarf is a majroor is mutalik. In a jumla ismiya, mutalik is basically a khabar. Yes? Yeah. Right. If the khabar is mawjood, then it is mutalik khabar. If the khabar is not mawjood, I mean the khabar is not present, then the Mutalik becomes the substitute khabar. Okay. So with this introduction, let me take you to my other information to share with you. Brother Abad, can we just show the last screen that we were on where we were writing down or is it not possible? It's possible. I just have to Okay, go. that's okay. Don't worry about it. No, no it's okay. It's I got it. I'm just going to quickly try and see if I can get to it.
it's a good idea. Maybe I should do a summary of what I just did. So which screen you want to see? The yeah, top? just this one. Just no, no, just that one. The the, the next page. Yes. The one where you yes. Thank yeah, you. Okay. Can you just repeat the last part where you said about Isarf and is Maju, the, the Shibu Jumla? Okay, Shibu Jumla, uh, the word Shibu is like, uh, the meaning is like. Jumla is Jumla. So if I say Shibu Jumla, the English translation will be like a sentence. Jumla is a sentence. Shibu is likeness. Like if I say Shibu um, Kamar, Shibu Kamar, what does that mean? like the moon yeah. so shibu jumla it's like a jumla even though fil baiti is not a jumla it's a it's a murakab, right is it it's a murakab nakis yes yes but we we give it another name called shibu jumla and shibu jumla is of two types either you will find murakab jari or you will find a zarf and ism majroor and these are the examples i want to show you in a few minutes so, so both right. of these things are will be called Shibu Jumla. Shibu Jumla even, right. Murak, even Murakab Jari. Even, even Murakab, Murakab Jari will be called Shibu Jumla. Oh, okay. especially, yeah, especially when he comes in the in the format of Jumla Ismiya. Oh, and we will take a look at that today. Jumla. Okay. So what we have done, just to repeat ourselves, we said Alhamdulillah, we have learned Jumla and Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Feli are the two Jumlas. And Alhamdulillah, if we learn both of them we pretty much cover the whole quran because all the verses in the quran will either become a jumla ismiya or jumla feliya and there are some other variations in between and we know the details inshallah will as we get advanced but when we get to jumla ismiya it is extremely important to know what a, what a ism is yes and the ism we know that it has four properties and without knowing these four, four properties, we cannot do much. And by now, you must you must agree with me that yes, every time we do something, we need to know the jinns, the other, the kism, and the era. A anybody has a doubt on that? No. No. So we, then we said, okay, what are the some variations of Jumla Ismiya we have seen? The bare minimum that we will have a muqtada and we will have a khabar. Yeah. And Zaidun Salihun is the example. And we know specific details about Muqtada, that Muqtada has to be Rafa and it has to be Marifa, meaning it has to be a proper noun. Yes, yeah. Salihun is Nakira, a common noun, but it has to be Rafa. Agree? Yeah. And Muqtada, Khabar, and we introduce Mutalik. And we give you the example, Zaidun Mawjudun Fil Bayti. Right? Yeah. So this is the second variation. The third variation is Muqtada, and the khabar is gone and we have only mutalik. So then this mutalik will become our khabar. Yeah? Okay. So in your mind, if you start, instead of saying mutalik, you can start to say shibu jumla. Follow? Okay. If you say shibu jumla, then I'm talking about mutalik. And then the fourth variation we're going to see today that this muqtada and mutalik, they can switch places. And there is a specific reason for that. And then when they switch spaces or the places, they are known as Khabar Muqaddam, Muqtada Muakhar. And as you know, Muqaddam means first and Muakhar means last. Yes? Any, any doubt about that? Okay. So then when we look at Mutalik, we said we're going to come up with a Shibu Jumla. And Shibu Jumla could be a murakkab Jari or a Zarf. And the zarf will have an ism majroor like murakkab jari. And then this combination of either or will become a shibu jumla and they will act as a khabar in the jumla ismiya. Are we clear on this now? Yeah. Okay, so can I switch my screens now? Can yes, I switch my screen? Okay. All right. So now let's take a look at my other stuff. All right. So let's get it out of here. Adarabid? Yes. What is the exact pronunciation? Shibu Jumla? Or? Shibu, Shibu Jumla. Shibu Jumla. Shibu. We'll look at it. Yeah, we'll look at it right now. And you will see it on the screen, then you will read it yourself, inshallah. Okay. So just to go back to the basics, we have seen the gender in a nominal sentence. So if we have monness, we will say Fatima tu Talibatun. Fatima is a student. 
if we say mudakkar muhammadun talibun so in order to understand this do we need to understand these the, the feminine and masculine uh, gender yeah. yes so is talibun mudakkar yes yeah. talibatun muannas so if we are talking about a feminine here then we have to use the feminine khabar if the mubtada is mudakkar then the khabar is mudakkar as sayyaratu jadidatun as sayyaratu is feminine. feminine so the khabar will be feminine feminine al kitabu jadidun al kitab is mon, uh, mudakkar so that the khabar will be mudakkar, mudakkar. hazihi dajjajatun a chicken this is a chicken now chicken is a feminine right yeah. so that is that's why is the jaja if you're talking about a male chicken haza dikun the rooster okay this is a rooster zalika nafizatun nafizatun is a window window in arabic language because even you see nafizatun is it masculine or feminine feminine feminine, feminine. so the tilka is the feminine ishara right yeah, yeah. So yeah. Muqtada is feminine and the khabar is feminine. feminine. Zalika babun. Now bab is mudakkar. So the ishara is also muzakkar. Muqtada is muzakkar. Then the khabar is muzakkar. This is something we should know by now very goodly. Then I want to show you another concept called badal. Badal means substitute. Okay. So in order to understand this, Look at these two examples. Al Baytu Jadidun. Is Al Baytu proper? Yes. Is Al Baytu Rafa? Yeah. So is it my Muptada? Yeah. And Jadidun is Nakira? Nakira. Yeah. And is Rafa? Rafa. So that's my father. And the translation is The house is new. Al Baytu, the house. Yes, is yeah. new. So this is a regular nominal sentence with the variation number one, Muptada and Khabar, correct? Yeah. Okay. Can I use Haza as my Muptada? Yeah. Ismu Ishara yeah. is Marifa, right? Yeah. Yes. Ismu Ishara is always Marifa. Marifa. And we know that we can take Haza as Rafa here because Haza is Mabni. It yeah. says Haza, Haza, Haza in three studies. So I can take this as Rafa because I am looking for a Muptada. So it's Marifa already. And I call it Rafa because I can take it as Rafa. So Haza Jadidun, this is new. Agree? Yeah. Yes. This is new. It's the simple translation, right? There is nothing fancy going on here, right? But if we take the same sentence and we say Haza Baitu Jadidun. This house is new. What did we do? This house is new. Is this Hazal Baitu Murakkab Ishari? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, Haza over here al, is Al Baitu is what? Proper? Marifa, Marif. Marif, right? Is yes. Haza is Marifa? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And Al Baitu is Rafa? Yeah. yeah. So, Al Haza can be Rafa? Yes, because yes. they have to follow each other. Yeah. In this situation, when you have Haza and you have a proper noun, like it, then this is known as Badal. Badal. Yes. What is the translation of Badal? A substitute. If I say this, do you know what I'm pointing to? Al Bait. No, if, no, if, if there is, look over here, if I say Haza Jadidun, it could be a car, it could be a book, it could be anything. Am I specifying what is new? Yes. I'm not so, saying what is new. I'm saying this is new. I'm just, yeah. I'm pointing to something. You don't know what I'm pointing to. So you, you have no idea. But over yeah. here, I'm saying this house. I'm giving you the detail about my this. Follow? Yes. You, yes. Can I say Hazal Kitabu Jadidun? Yes. Can I say Hazal Kalamu oh. Jadidun? Yes. yes. Good. So then this in this kind of combination, when you see after the hada a proper noun, then you say this proper noun is the badal. Making sense? Yeah. This is a new concept, and you will find it quite a bit in the Quran when you read it. So this is one type of badal. So let's read it together. A definite noun. 
Definite noun mean? Is Marifa. Following a demonstrative pronoun, Haza, is called a substitute. Follow? If after the Haza, you find a Marifa, then you know this is a Badal, especially when you have it in a nominal sentence. What are we studying? Nominal sentence. Agree? Yeah. Okay. So with this little concept, keep it in mind and you know try to ex experiment. Inshallah, we'll deal, deal more because this is not the only badal. There are a bunch of other badals. But in this category, next time in a nominal sentence, if you come across haza and after that, if there is a proper noun, then you can say that proper noun is badal. Yeah. Can I say Haza is the substitute, the Al Baytu is the substitute for Haza? Think, think about it. When you didn't know what I'm pointing to, you have no idea. But when I said Haza, by Haza I mean Al Baytu, isn't that a substitute for Haza? Yes. Yes. So think about that. It's not a hard, very difficult concept. Just have to understand it. So the next thing, which is today we're going to understand is called zarf zarfun and in arabic it is called zarfun and the english version is adverb now remember the adverb is part of speech in english right yeah. how many parts of speech in english eight. eight right adverb was one of them okay yeah. so so it is a noun what is it no. It is a noun. So, zarf is a noun that indicates the place or time. Do we need to say morning, evening, now, later, before, after? Yeah. Do we see these words in English? They are known as zarf. They are known as, they, yeah. they are the nouns. They tell us about something about a place or a time. Okay. And let's let's take a look at the picture first so that you understand what is happening. This is the car. If I say fauka, that means over on the top. <clears throat> if I say khalfa, khalfa is behind. behind. Amama in front. In front. when you go to the masjid, where is the imam standing? In front. In front. In front. That is why he's known as uh, Imam, right? Because he's the one who is yeah. leading you guys. Tahta is under. Tahta is yeah. under. If you say any of these words, they will be known as adverb of place. Why? Because when I say fauka, I'm saying top. Is am I am I referring to a place or a time? Place. Place. So this is an example of zarf ul makan. Makan is place. Place. Okay, adverb is zarf and place is makan. So it will be zarful makan. Zarful examples makan. of these are the examples of adverb of place. Okay, huna here is yeah. that a place? Yeah, hunaka there. Yeah, yeah, Baina, between. Between. Okay, kurba near. Yes, yeah. So these are all different uh, zarf. But these are the zarf for place. So far with me, guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now look at the zarf zama, the adverb of time. Uh, masa an, evening. Masa al Yes. Zuhran, noon. Zuhr ki namaz am kab padte hain? When do we praise Zuhr? Afternoon, right? Afternoon. As soon as the sun is at a certain level, we pray, right? Sabahan morning. Sabahan Laylan. Laylan is night. Ghadan tomorrow. tomorrow. Al Yauma today. Ams yesterday. Yes. So are these mentioning time or place? Yeah, time. Time. So these are known as zarf. Zarf, zarf is of two type. Yes. Zarf is of two type. A zarf of place, zarf of time. time. So, zarfu makan is place. Zarfu zaman is time. Yeah. Right? Zamana, Urdu me kise kate hum? When we say kitna zamana guzar gaya. Hmm. We're saying how much time has passed. Yes? Yeah. 
सो जमान इज टाइम मकान इज प्लेस प्लेस एंड वी यूज द वर्ड ये मेरा मकान है वट डू आई एम वट एम आई से दिस इज माई प्लेस ऑफ वेर आई लिव यस सो वी आर फेमिलियर विद दैम ऑलरेडी इज जस्ट दैट वी डिन नो द डिटेल्स राइट ओके सो लेट सी सम मोर डिटेल अबाउट दिस सो आर वी फेमिलियर विद मुरक्का बिदाफी Yes. yes are we yes. familiar with murakkab isafi yes. yes yes we are and in the last two or three sessions we have been doing mm. a lot of murakkab isafi murakkab isafi yes yes in murakkab isafi how many parts we have we mm. have mudaf and we have mudaf mm. lilay so can yeah. murakkab isafi come alone can it only have mudaf and no mudaf lilay no. No. no no it has to come together it has to come together right so if there is a mudaf then the yeah. mudaf lilay has to be there now what are the properties of mudafun ile this is always in the status of ja agree yeah mudafun ile is always in the status of ja we did that last time also right yes so what they're saying the grammar of the people of arabic grammar they're saying that zarf acts like a mudaf what does the zarf do it acts like a mudaf so the noun following it the noun which will come after it is it going to be mudafun ile yes so it has to be yeah. jar status it has to be jar jazakallah khair now think for a second in murakkab jari when we have a harf jara does a noun come after it it's also a status yes and what is the noun has to be in the status of jar, jar. so murakkab jari and murakkab izafi are the two cases when the following part or the second partner as has to be in the status of ja yes. right and these two combinations together are known as shibu jumla remember today what we are learning shibu jumla so shibu yeah. jumla could be murakkab jari or murakkab ishari or murakkab tawsif uh, izafi yeah so yes. with this example so zarf can never be mubtada now is the mutallik remember in a jumla nomi ismiya can the mutallik ever be mubtada change the future no mutallik can never be mubtada right yeah even if the sentence starts with it yes so remember the variation number 4 the mutallik can come before the mubtada mubtada uh, muakhar khabar muqaddam yes yeah. so even if the the zarf or the mutallik or the shibu jumla comes in the beginning of a nominal sentence it can never be called mubtada it will always be called khabar khabar okay let's look at some examples of uh, this zarf from the quran okay this is from surah al nahl a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillah arrahman arrahim alladhina kafaru wasaddu an sabilillahi zidnahum azaban fawqal azab azaban fawqal azabi bima kanu yufsidun those who disbelieved and averted others from the way of allah we will increase them in punishment over their punishment for what corruption they were causing is fawqa zarf yeah. after that supposed to be a noun al azab yes and it is if this is mudaf then al azabi is mudafun ilay yeah is mudafun ilay in the status of jar yeah so fawqal azabi you see that yeah. fawqal azabi so when yeah. you see a zarf the following noun will be mudafun ilay and it will be in the status of jar follow <clears throat> question कुरान एज सुन एज यू सी अदर्फ the noun following it will be uh yes. in the status of jar and do you see the qualities of mudafun ilay mudafun ilay can have al yes. 
Yes. N is the status of Jar. So both of those conditions are met. Now, al foka doesn't have al and he, he, because it's a word by itself, right? Okay, let's look at the other one. Lakad radi Allahu anil mu'minina if yubayi unaka tahta shajarati. Tahta shajarati. Is shajarati in the status of jar? Yeah. So this is mudaf and this mudaf in LA. Yes. So in English, we call the zarf, uh, the adverbs of time and place, we call them a special mudaf. What do we call them? Special mudaf. Special mudaf, mashallah. Okay. Then look at this. Wa in min wa in man ahlil kitabi illa liyu minanna bihi kabla mautihi or kabla mauti wa yawmal qiyamati yakunu alayhim shahida. Shahida. Yawmal qiyamati zarf. This is mak this is a time, right? Yawma is time, right? Over here, place, place, time. Yes. Al qiyamati mudafun ilay. Status of jar. Kabla okay. <clears throat> doesn't, it's not a zarf there? That is also zarf. But mm -hmm. right now we are only looking at the one we looked at above, right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, we will we will get that. Kabla is also a special kind of mudaf. You're right. Okay. Wala takulanna li shayin in nifailun dhalika ghada. Is ghada mean tomorrow, right? Yeah. So, is that a zarf of time? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So this one and then Baina. La nufarriku Baina. Aha dim. Aha dim. Right? Look at this. Is this status of Jar? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Baina is a special kind of mudaf and this is a zarf of Baina is place. Between. Between is Markad Zama or, or Makan? Makan. Makan, because it's a place between two things, right? Yes. Okay. So this is what the zarf is. Any questions about this? Any questions? No Brother questions? Abhi, Brother Abhi, you touched on Shibu Jumla. I yes. can discuss more or can I ask here? Uh, well, I am going to show you the, 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 the description also. So okay. if you want to hold on till then, that's okay. Okay. And, and maybe at that point, if you have additional information, you can share with us, inshallah. Okay. Okay. So let me quickly take a look. Uh, over here, I have additional information. And here, you will find a bigger list. Okay. So adverbs of time and place, zarful makani was zamani, right? Some words have the same effect on the nouns and the pronouns as the prepositions. Does the preposition have the effect of making the noun coming after it to take it in the status of jar? Yes. Yes. Isn't it mudaf? Mudafun alay has the same status that the mudafun alay is always the status of jar? Yes. So these nouns, these some words, what are these words? They are known as zarful makani. So over here, this is the bigger list. Okay. The list I showed you just to get you your feet wet. And now you can see the more comprehensive list. Badu is also, this is a special kind of mudaf. Kullu is a special kind of mudaf. Duna is a special kind of mudaf. These will be known as the, 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 the adverbs of time and place. Ghaira, minduni, other than. Inda, near. Ma'a, with. Ladun, Ladai, and you you know this milladunna. Remember, there are a lot of time Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in the Quran mentioned milladunna. Yeah. But the rabbit, so this list is only zarful makan or both together. And uh, look, tahta is gonna be mark the zama uh, the uh, what do you call makan, right? Yes, fauka, makan. fauka is makan. Amama is makan. Kabla is time. Yes. Bada yes. is time. Yes. Waraa yes. 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 makan. Makan place, right? Between place, place. around place, place, right? So these doesn't follow, but it looks like yeah, it's yeah. Some, yeah. So you you can see what I'm talking about here. Yeah, now yeah. let's take some examples from the the Quran. Min tahti arjulikum. 
arjulikum your feet from beneath your feet so this tahti is arjuli you see the arjuli yeah. this is status of jar yeah. yes yeah. arjulikum already mudaf mudafun alay right yeah. because your feet mean feet of yours so over here the ism majroor is already in the combination of murakkab idafi so there are double mudaf mudaf ilayhi here right so tahti is mudaf mudaf ilay is arjulikum but mudaf ilay itself is mudaf mudaf ilay combination can you see that yes so please broaden your horizon that now the same concept you have learned it can come within brackets you know it can come within things so if don't get astonished or surprised if you see that oh how come that happened right yeah okay wajahidu ma'a rusuli ma'a is another zarf e makan yes ma i am i'm calling you with with makan wa ma kunta ladaihim ladaihim and you were not with them ladai miladun with yes all right then bal ahya'un in da rabbihim yurzaqun this in da is is mudaf uh, and mudaf because of a special zarf and rabbihim mudaf mudaf ilay already murakkab idafi yeah. but the same thing rabbi see if you don't if you forget about the him is rabbi up to here it is uh, let's see if i can highlight it so rabbi is status of jar right and if you remember yeah. previously i told you mudaf can be any of the three statuses rafa nasab and jar yeah. i also told you why so here in the doesn't in the require the noun coming after it to be status of jar yeah so it is rabbi yeah, yeah. so also try to appreciate this milladun hakimin alim so from the all wise and from the all knowing so yeah. is hakimin alimin because of this dun yes. is the dun a special kind of mudaf yes and the any noun which will follow it or comes after it is going to be yes. status of jar yes yes so next time you can so, say it, can i ask a question please yes sister homa yeah when you are uh, in, uh, in the sentence above bal ahya uh, in the rabbihim if you uh, ask us for explanation We, yeah we know that in the is uh, also a harf jar so uh, how we use the zarf here like okay. if... actually in the is like a com is a common between harf jar and zarf yes because we in also the, got it in this is, list in the is zarf here yes in the is zarf because it's coming from this list in the mm-hmm. so this ma'a and in the even though we have been used as preposition but they are actually zarf yeah but since they have the same characteristics that anything which will come after in the will be status of jar and anything which will come after ma'a will all be status of jar yeah so they can be used vice versa right or interchangeably so don't get confused always the same like anything after zarf will be a state of jar yes that is what we are saying today right and that's what the concept is that yeah. whether you get a zarf or a harf e jar the noun following it will always be status of jar yeah. and that's why we said whether it's a murakkab jari or a special kind of mudaf mudaf nile they together in in a nominal sentence are known as shibu jumla or they itself are known as shibu jumla okay thank you okay So, let's see. What else? Wa mai yab taghi ghair al Islami dina. Ghaira is other. Over here, the word ghaira is other than. Yes. So over the translation will be that, and whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, follow ghaira. La nufariku bayna ahadin. Ahadin is status of jar. هو وهو القاهر فوق عباده عباده سي ستاتس اوف جر نجالهما نجالهما تحت اقدامنا لوك ات ذس اقدامي نا سي اقدامي از ا ا بروكن بلورال يس يس ان بروكن بلورال يو تيل ذا ستاتس باي لوكينج ات ذا لاست لتر اند ذا كسره 
na here is the we we our our feet ah. we may place them beneath is that a place or time tahta place place place, place. right good yeah. so i hope that this also helps you understand the concept so if you want to go back we had this list and this is a smaller list but here you can you get the idea that there are certain words they depict the time and there are certain words they depict the place the place fauka these are the most common one fauka khalfa tahta amama wara huna hunaka baina hawla qurba so these are some of the zarful makan but what do we need to understand about them that the they is cracking uh, sorry can you hear me now maybe the internet maybe the internet was acting up can you hear me now i can hear yes can I, is my voice still breaking guys no it's no no it's okay it's okay. stable now okay good yeah once in a while i think the internet acts up so are we clear on this guys are we having this concept Sorry, bit... brother abit i think yes. i'm not sure if it's just me or yeah it's i can think uh, sister onaiza has a problem with maybe um, sister onaiza you might have a internet problem on your side for a little bit your wifi will uh, you know get better in a little bit can you still hear us sister onaiza okay uh, can somebody send her a note uh, that she, maybe she can leave the meeting and come back maybe that will fix the problem so so onaiza are you with us or oh, looks like she she heard me so yeah. she's going in, coming back okay. yes anybody else okay so what we are saying basically let's wait for sister onaiza to join back or oh, she's back okay so can you hear us sister onaiza now you are muted so sister onaiza can you hear us now it looks like she is still having trouble or she or she left again okay while we are waiting for her uh anybody else uh having any issues with this concept so far brother javed um, i'm okay you okay So if I ask you a question you will know the answer right away. I think so. Okay inshallah good. Brother Imran. Okay brother Imran are you with us? Yeah alhamdulillah. Okay so you know what zarf uh, is? Yeah alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah good. Sister Homa you good? Yes, alhamdulillah. Still digesting because it's a new concept. But... Okay, alhamdulillah. No problem. That's okay. So, what the important thing we need to know about azarf that it is a noun that indicates the place or time. So that concept that should get out of the way, right? That is, as soon as I mention zarf, you think about either a place or time. Yes, and we also know that zarf is like a special kind of mudaf. Yes, yes. If it's a mudaf. then mudafun alay is given we need to have a mudafun alay is the mudafun alay going to be a noun yes and what will be the status of mudafun alay yes yeah. because mudafun alay one of the main characteristics of mudafun alay that it has to be in the yeah. status of char which is very similar to like murakkab jari yes yeah but as soon as we have harf jara we have the ism majrur and the, in the nominal sentence the important thing you need to understand even when the nominal sentence starts with a zarf or a shibu jumla or a murakkab jari it will always be khabar can never be mubtada so yeah. that is the important part you have to understand or keep it in your memory that as soon as you see a zarf 
in the st- in the in the form of a shibu jumla or murakkab jari in the form of a shibu jumla and even if the sentence starts with it you're not going to call it muftada you will always call it khabar we get it yes okay good so uh, i would do one question yes you said the <clears throat> um zarf and uh, jar majboor jar majroor yeah. together they are called shibu jumla yes i mean mm-hmm. if you see a, if you see a murakkab jari or murakkab idafi you can call them shibu jumla as well okay okay right so next time if you say if i if i say shibu jumla then you can think of murakkab jari or murakkab idafi with the special kind of mudaf right yes. and once we see the chart it will probably make more sense and then i hope the brother nasib has something to add so let's take little bit uh, small steps so when we get to that we will get clarification more on that got it yes but shibu jumla means like a sentence yeah shibu mean like uh, urdu mein kehte hain shabahat shabahat ka kya matlab hota hai similarity similarity yes okay so it's a good breaking point let's uh, stop here for a break uh, let's meet at 11 or 2 inshallah and then we will go into the next subject inshallah okay see you guys in a little bit uh, don't you. leave the meeting just mute yourself and stop your video if you have open uh, assalam alaikum
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام وعلیکم السلام الحمدللہ اوکے سو از ایوری ون بیک ہیئر آئی ایم بیک یس اوکے الحمدللہ اوکے گڈ آل رائٹ سو ناؤ وی ار کوئکلی گوئنگ ٹو لک ایٹ دی ارلی پریڈیکیٹ اینڈ لیٹ سبجیکٹ right because in arabic uh, in english mubtada is known as subject and the khabar is known as predicate right yeah. yes so early predicate mean khabar muqaddam wa mubtada late subject mean wa mubtada muakhkhar okay so look at this uh, first sentence ar rajulu is ar rajulu a noun yeah and it is marifa marifa rafa and it is rafa right so that is my mubtada can i say ar rajulu fil baiti is fil baiti jar majroor here yeah. yeah okay so this is known as we can also call it shibu jumla follow and in this sentence is fil baiti is the mutallik yeah yes and the actual khabar is missing right we we, have, we don't have maujudun in here right so you don't see the sentence you don't okay this this sentence the top one ar rajulu fil baiti can you see my screen sister homa yes i can see okay it. so the top one i'm talking about ar rajulu fil baiti so this is the one we are talking about ar rajulu ar rajulu fil baiti so the fil baiti fil baiti is jar majroor yes so, that's murakkab jari correct what is shibu jumla yeah. that is uh, sh- sh- jarun majroon another name for that is shibu jumla another name for murakkab jari when it comes in us in the sentence is called shibu jumla okay. that is what i'm trying to tell you if you mm-hmm. see a jar majroor or a mudaf and mudaf in lay with a zarf you can you can also call them shibu jumla making sense okay 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 so this here is an example of jarun wa majroorun which is a murakkab jari and that is also known as you can also call it shibu jumla especially when you are using in a nominal sentence okay is the shibu jumla here fil baiti is the khabar yeah. yes everybody I need to hear from few more people say this. So so Neza are you with me on this one? Yes. Okay. And sister Homa you're good? Yes, alhamdulillah. Brother brother uh, Jaz you're good? Yes. Yes. Okay. So is that clarity now that what, when we say shibu jumla you know you're going to think about two things either it's a jar majroor or a special kind of mudaf with zarf or zama or zarf or makan. yeah so the top example the man is in the house is an example of this is the regular example the the mubtada is first and the khabar is second but look at this i can switch it i can say fil baiti rajulun fil baiti rajulun okay so what happened here this still jarun majroorun also known as shibu jumla but the khabar has come in the beginning round yeah. yes yeah. and rajulun mubtada muakhkhar now yeah. in this case you can see that the ar was gone right yeah. see that al yes. is gone so yeah. a man is in the house but right now that is not our focus the f- focus is this khabar came first and the mubtada came afterwards yeah. but it's still a call shibu jumla right it is a jaru majroorun now look at another example amama amam al masjid hadikatun a garden is in front of the masjid okay amam al masjid is it zarf zarf al zama or zarf al makan zarf al makan makan right so is this also known as shibu jumla there is a zarf here amam is zarf right yeah okay so again that doesn't matter whether it's jarun majroorun or zarfun it will be it can also be known as shibu jumla and in this case 
it has come beginning khabarun khabar muqaddam wa mubtada muakhir but now look at the detail a shibu jumla a phrase for example jarun wa majroorun a prepositional phrase murakkab jari or zarfun adverbial phrase a special kind of mudaf and mudaf ilay can never be mubtada subject even though a sentence may begin with it this is the the thing i'm trying to make you understand yes are we clear on this now yes sir yeah, yeah brother abid is amama and imam the same word or um uh, amama is in front so is imam i you know i don't want to comment on it but sometime the the harakat can make a difference mm -hmm. to me um, i'm going to go to brother nasib on this brother nasib what is the difference between amam and imam it's is derived from it but it's not the same word i it's guess i guess amam means uh, front and imam means leader okay yeah there you go so but the the example i used was probably because the imam is always in the front right so and we follow him so that maybe i made a wrong example here but as the brother says amam and imam is that's the difference so well, that's a good indicator that you remember the the meaning <laughs> yes alhamdulillah okay sister unaiza i think she's having some trouble sister unaiza it's okay brother abid i actually joined it through my phone like okay. with the data because okay. it's something wrong with i think my internet because oh, i thought okay. it was other people experiencing so that's why you can see iphone probably now that's fine, that's that's fine. yeah no problem Okay, so Sister Unaiza, did you get this concept, or should I repeat this one? Sorry, I missed just the last part when you started after the break, like because it was just cracking. So if you, I oh, don't, I don't okay. really want you to repeat everything, but just like a quick one. Okay, quick one is what we are we are looking at an example of an early <laughs> predicate and late subject. Khabarun, mukaddumun, wa muqtadaun, muakharun. So in the first sentence, we took. the actual um, the uh, what do you call order mubtada is first and the mutallik is later i mean mm -hmm. in the regular way the, the position has not changed now fil baiti is jarun majrurun and another word for jarun majrurun is murakkab jari yes 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 another name you can you can call this you can call it shibu jumla yes yes and yes. this shibu jumla is khabar in a nominal sentence this mutallik is always khabar yes if the khabar yes. is maujood we say khabar and then mutallik khabar if the khabar is not there then we call the mutallik khabar as the substitute khabar yes or simply we say yes. the mutallik is the khabar so khabar, this yeah. is where the shibu jumla concept should be clear in your mind that if i see a jar majroor which is murakkab jari i can call it shibu jumla and shibu jumla will be a khabar but we know that the position of the khabar and mubtada can change especially when yes. it is the shibu jumla so over okay. here in the next sentence we brought the fil baiti in the beginning so mm -hmm. we brought the khabar muqaddam and we muakhir the mubtada we took the mubtada later so the yes. important thing is jar majroorun is shibu jumla and in the second sentence we use the word amam al masjid in front of the masjid so this is zarf this is not jar majroor anymore but yes. because of amama we know it's a mudaf because this is zarf so al masjid yes. al mudaf in ilay okay this, this combination is also can be known as shibu jumla okay yes. and it's yes. also khabar muqaddam and mubtada muakhir because we brought it in the beginning but the point we are trying to drive home whether mm -hmm. it is a jar majroor or the adverb zarf or zarf zama or zarf makan and even if it's come in the beginning of the sentence it will never be mubtada it will always be known as khabar khabar okay Got that it. is the concept you should take it with you because in reference to nominal sentence that is what we are trying to say yeah yeah okay good so now let's take a look at uh, the the next thing i want to show you is what want to show you the page number 73 and by the way you guys have this information right yes yes so now let's look at some grammatical analysis okay look at the word hazihi madrasati madrasati if i say 
Kitabi. What is the meaning of Kitabi? My book. My book. My book. If I say Kitabu ka. Your book. Your book. Okay, am I talking to a male or female? Male. Male. Kitabu ki. Female. Okay. So, Madrasa ti. My school. Okay. Madrasa ti. Is it Mudaf Mudafin Is it Murakab Idafi? Do you see that? How many people see Madrasati as Mudaf Mudafun Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let, let me let me actually quickly ask individually so that I am pretty sure. Okay. Brother Imran, Madrasati, we calling it Muraka Vidafi. Why? Because it has both uh, madrasa the, and the harfijar. Which is the harfijar? Sati, ya is the. What is ya? This ya has a special meaning. What is this ya? It's jar, harfijar. It's not a harfijar. Okay, do you remember pronouns? Yeah. Okay, how many kind of pronouns we have? Uh, we have two. Okay, what are the names? Uh, detached pronouns. Detached and attached. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the detached pronouns. What status detached pronouns have? Detached pronouns have uh, Rafa. Rafa. Okay. And the attached pronouns have what is status? Nasab and Jar. Nasab and Jar. Okay. Do you know the, the names of them? Who? Huma Hum. Yes. Ha. Huma Hunna. No. Ki. Kuma Kum. Uh, ka. Kuma Kum. Ki. Kuma Kunna. Yeah. Ye. And na. Yana. Ye. Na. This Ye is number 13. Agree? Yes. Ye mean? Mine, mine, yes. right? Yeah. So, is this madrasa here mudaf? So, if mudaf alay is ye, yes. Yeah. Mudaf alay is ye. ye. So, what is the status of ye here? Jar. Jar. So, the right answer was this is the attached pronoun of jar status, yes. and okay. that what's make it mudaf alay. Yeah. Does everybody see that? Yes. yes. So, Hazihi is Ismo Ishara. Yes? yes. Is the sentence starting with Ismo Ishara? Yes. Is Ismo Ishara Marifa? Yes. 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 And Ismo Ishara can be Rafa? Yes. 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 So, Hazihi is the Muptada. Yes? yes. So, the Khabar here is Madrasati. This is my school. So, Madrasati is Murakabi Dafi. And that is khabar. Madrasati is mudaf. The ti, the yi part is the mudaf. Agree? Yes. 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 Okay. So this whole thing is this whole thing is what happened here? Why can't I do highlight here? So madrasati is murakka vidafi. Mudaf, mudaf nilai. Okay, so remember in the beginning of this class, we said these murakkabat, murakkab jari, murakkab ishari, murakkab tosifi, murakkab idafi. What did we say about murakkab idafi? It can be khabar or it can be muqtada. Can Did we say that or not? Yes. Okay, good. So everybody clear about hazihi, madrasati? Yes. So look at the translation. This is my school. The is is when you have this combination. Hazihi is Muptada. The Madrasati is Khabrun Wahua Mudaf. And the Yi part is the Mudafun Ilay. Brother Javed, are we clear on this? Yes. Okay. Now look, look at the next one. Hiya Kariyatun Minal Masjidi. Okay. Hiya Kariyatun. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hiya karibatun minal masjidi. It is near 
from the masjid. Yeah. Yes. So here is Muptada? Yeah. Okay. Is here attached pronoun or detached pronoun? Attached. Who said attached? Me. Well, that's wrong, brother. Why no. is it attached? Does it you see it attached with something? Oh, yeah. here, is by, here is by itself. It's oh. not attached to anything. Okay, I was thinking is Okay, so okay, tell me the qualities of a muptada. What is the what is the status of a muptada? Muptada is always rafa. Rafa. So can uh, the attached pronouns are rafa or detached pronouns are rafa? Uh, detached pronouns are rafa. So what is this? This is the detached pronoun. Okay. Now this is for the female, right? Yeah. So karibatun is a female? Karibatun, yeah. Okay. So that is the khabar, right? Yeah. And minal masjidi, it is jarun majroorun? Yeah. Is it murakab jari? So is Minal Masjidi Mutalik? Yeah. Can I call Minal Masjidi Shibu Jumla? Yeah. Okay. So now the three parts of a nominal sentence, the Muptada, the Khabar, and the Mutalik is present in front of you. Mm -hmm. Agree? Yeah. Karibatun is Zarf here. Uh, no. Karibatun is not Zarf. Mm -hmm. Is it? Brother and Naseeb? It shows the makan, yes. Mm, but kariba is a word, not a special zarf. Um, it's a good point, but I'm not sure. Brother Naseeb, do you have any comment on this? I one? have I've never used, seen it as used as a makan. As zarf. As zarf, yes. So yes. it is an actual noun, but not a zarf. It was not in the list of... We had the kurba, but not the kariba. This, this is, a, I think it's a regular noun. Yeah? Okay. Now, number one. Uh, number three, hiya madrasatun kabiratun. Uh, now, let me ask somebody specifically so that we can learn from each other. Uh, Brother Shabazz is gone because he has to go. Uh, Brother Taj, I have asked you many times. Uh, Brother Javed, let's talk with, uh, with you. Hiya madrasatun kabiratun. Can you please explain to me what is madrasatun kabiratun? <coughs> Madrasatun, uh, uh, this is a noun. Okay. Um, kabiratun. Yeah. Um, um, is a madrasatun kabira. Kabiratun is a noun as well. Okay. So, so do you see any murakkab here? Uh, this is Madarasatun Kabiratun is a Murakabe Azafi. Murakabe Azafi. Uh, is it a school of big or big of school? That doesn't make sense. Think about it. How many Murakabad we have? Can you uh, name the, the four Murakabad we have learned? Uh, Murakabe Azafi, uh, Murakabe Shari, mm -hmm. Murakabe Jari. Okay. Okay, you said this is Murakab Izafi. So that means Kabiratun is Mudafunile. Um if 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 we take your word for it, Murakab Izafi, then Kabiratun is Murak Mudafunile, right? Yeah. So what is the status of Kabiratun? Uh, Kabiratun um that is um um, Rafa. Rafa. Can Mudafan Alay be in Rafa status ever? No. Okay. So what is this Murakkab then? Can you revisit your uh, list? Murakkab uh, Ishari, Murakkab Jari, Murakkab Tosifi, Murakkab Izafi. So we understood it's not Murakkab Izafi. Do we see in a, any Harfajar? Tosifi. Okay. No, no. I understand. Now you, you got it. But let's as a team, let's try to figure out how can we get to the right Murakab. Do you see any Harfajar in here? No. So uh, no Murakab Jari. Murakab Jari is out of the list. Yeah. Murakab Ishari, do we see any Ishara in here? No. no. So Murakab Ishari is out of the way. Murakab to Izafi cannot be Kabiratun is Rafa. Yes? Yeah. So what are you left with? Murakab 
Tosifi. Tosifi. But and what is Tosifi? Is the quality and the quality of. Am I telling you the quality of the school that is the big? Yeah. So right away, this is how you should think that if you if you have hard time getting to the point right away, think about it. Do I see a harfajar? No. Do I say isme shara? No. Do I see a harfajar uh, or the kabiratun in the status of jar? No. So then I'm left with murakab tosifi. So murakab tosifi is my khabar. And another name for murakab tosifi was natun. Nat is when you pray something. Yes. Okay. So question. This is a shift of madrasa, right? Madrasa. Yes, that's the quality of madrasa. It is a big school. Here is here is a detached pronoun. Is here here Rafa? Rafa. Is it Marifa? Marifa. Why? Because this is a, a detached pronoun. And the pronouns are always marifa, correct? Okay. Uh, Sister Homa, laha salasatun salasatu abwabin. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Laha here is jarun wa majroon, right? Yeah, it has har harf jar on it. Yes. Uh, so it's jar and majroon. Yes. Um, and salasatu abwabin, it's uh, murakab izafi. Murakab Izafi, mashallah. So over here, laha, is it, can you call it Shiba Jumla? Yes. Okay. Is it Khabar Mukaddam? It is, yes. Yes. And Salasa to Abwabin is Murakab Izafi. Exactly. Can Murakab Izafi be Muptada? Uh, no. Murakab Izafi can be Muptada. Yeah, yeah, it is Muptada. Right. So that's why. See, if you read the, the Arabic, it says, Muptada muakharun, wa mudaf wa mudafun ilay. This is how would you explain? Because yeah. mudaf is salasatu, right? Abuabin is mudafun ilay. Yeah. Agree? Yes. So laha cannot be a muptada here. So yes. So this is our example of the the khabar mukaddam wa muptada muakhar. Yes? yes. Okay. Um, brother. Um, What's his name? Brother Ijaz. Yes. Abwabuha maftuhatun al ana. All right. So Abwabuha. What does that mean? Abwabuha. It's doors. Mudaf. Mudaf. Okay. Just mudaf? Abuabuha is just Muda. Yeah. is Okay, brother Ijaz, if it's Murakab Izafi, it cannot be Mudaf alone. It has to be Mudaf and Mudaf in LA, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Abu is Mudaf. Ha yeah. is Mudaf in LA. Yeah. That is how you would distinguish it. Yeah. Together, Abuabuha will be Muptada. Muptada, yeah. So over here, Murakab Izafi is acting as the Muptada. Yeah. What is the khabar? Maftuhatun. Maftuhatun. Yeah. Open. Yes. Open. <coughs> its, doors, its doors are open. Al-ana. Al-ana. Al I mean now. Now. Ma zarf e baka. Zarf e? Zarf e zaman. Zarf e zaman. Jazakallah khair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, who else is there? Uh, Sister Lubna. Fil madrasati husulun kasiratun. Yeah. Fil madrasati is dar majroor. Very good. Khabar mukaddam. Yes. Husulun kasiratun. Muptada muakhar. And this murakabe tosifi. Murakabe tosifi. So the quality of the classes is that they are many. Yes. So by this time, is everybody else who's listening can you start to see what we are getting at? This is this is the meat of this class. Uh, we have been doing all over uh, and in the last so many sessions, we've been trying to do this much, right? So you, if you have to do grammatical analysis, you should go into this and go ahead and do this, right? So what is your homework today? Uh, I mean, I'm going to request it. It's up to you whether you do it or not. 
if you can just write this down with your own hand yes this will make you learn a lot of things yeah this will clarify a lot of things <laughs> but provided you do it with your own hand on a piece of paper inshallah we will do that inshallah okay so can i ask you a question Yes, yes. Kasiratun and wasi'un, it says na'atun. It's something that we haven't learned. Okay. All right. Remember, Sister Homa, we said another name for murakab tosifi is na'atun man'utun. Mm -hmm. And it is present in this document. There is a whole, and we have gone over that in, in detail, few sessions. When we were talking about murakab uh, tosifi, we also said the, the, uh, the, what is Tosifi? Sifa and Mosuf. Yes? yes. Another name for Sifa is Natun. Another name for Mosufun is Manutun. And oh. once I'm done with this, I'll show you in this document, you have a whole chapter on Nata wa Manut. Yeah? Yes. Okay. okay. So there are more than one word to describe something in Arabic. So Natun. Now, if you if you think about it, uh, let's think that when we are looking at on the TV on the special days, there is sometimes there is a naat coming on the on the TV. What yes. is the person doing? Is is a glorifying some somebody, right? That's if really it's naatun, we we say naatun for Rasulullah. Usually we are saying a naat about Rasulullah, and in the naat you will be giving the qualities of Rasulullah, and in the hamdun, <coughs> then the hamd will be for more for Allah Subhanahu Taala. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Haza Fasluna, Brother Nasib. Haza is for Shara, Muktada. Mm -hmm. Muktada, very good. Yeah. yeah. Fasluna, uh, thing possessed and possessor, Padafi lay. Okay. Yeah. So Murakab is Afi. So over yeah. here, Muktada is this Mushara, and Khabar is Mudaf, Mudafun lay. Fasluna, our class. This is our class. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sister Unaiza. Wahua Faslun Wasiun. Wahua is Wa is her, her fe'ata. Mm -hmm. And Hua is the Muqtada. Okay. And it's modify as well because it's a pronoun. Yes. Um, Faslun Wasiun is, uh, is also Murakkabit Tawsifi and it's Khabar. Khabar, very good. Mashallah. So Fasulun is the Jama of Faslun. Class, classes. Right? Okay. Jazakallah khair, sister Unaiza. This is good. Okay. With this exercise, do you guys feel better that now, mashallah, you can do a little bit of grammatical analysis? Yes. Alhamdulillah. And this is how you should do it. You say, okay, Haza is Muqtada, Madrasa is Khabarun, Wahua Mudaf, and the ya is the mudafun alay. Yeah. Do we have more of these, brother? Say that again. Do we have more of these uh, sessions? In this or? document, no. But I can find some more for you, inshallah. But right now, this is what I have for you. Okay. So now to the the next next topic, which is the 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 thing I wanted to uh, talk about, is this one: the types of khabar. Okay, in a jumla ismiya, a khabar can be of many types. Okay, what are the three different uh, categories that it could be one word? One word is mufrad. Mufrad mean one word, or it could be a jumla or a sh shibu jumla, a phrase. When we say phrase, how many phrases we talked about? Murakkab jari and the zarf. Zarf zaman and zarf makan. Yes. Zarf, when you see zarf, can we say it is a shibu jumla? And if we see jarun majrurun, can we say it's a shibu jumla? Yeah, okay. And a shibu jumla in a nominal sentence is always khabar. Did we already establish that fact? Yes. Okay. Yes. The third thing, a, a khabar can also be a jumla by itself. A khabar can be a another jumla by itself. It could either be a jumla ismiya or it could be a jumla. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys with me so far? So far, yes. Okay, so in, in a nominal sentence, the khabar can be of these three types. It could either be singular word, 
It could be a Shibu Jumla or it could be another sentence. And I'm going to give you the examples. And inshallah, when you study it on your own or after this class, you will start to make more sense. So look at this. A Mufrid one, this is the easy one. We have been reading it all this time. Al-Kitabu Jadidun. Is that Jadidun is one word? Yeah, Jadidun. Remember Zaidun Salihun? Yeah. Easy. Because that was the one we started with. Because we want to start with the easy ones, right? So the Mufrid one is always the easy one. Al-Kitabu Jadidun. Muhammadun Talibun. Al-Quranu Kitabullahi. Is Kitab, is the Khabar here? Yes. Okay. But what is the additional information we know about Kitab? That it is a Kitab of Allah. Is Kitabullah Murakkab Izafi? Yeah. Okay. So what, what is the focus here on the Khabar? So you not need to focus on the red one. Yes, the red part. Because Al-Kitabu is Mubtada, Muhammadun is Mubtada, Al-Quranu is Mubtada. Get it? Yeah. Okay. So Jadidun, one word. Talibun, one word. Kitabu, one word. Yeah. But look at the Shibu Jumla with the Jar Majroor. Al-Kitabu Alal Maktabi is Ala Harfejar. Yeah. Al Maktabi status of Jar, Jar Majroor. Yeah. Over here, this is Mubtada and this is Mutalik. Yes. Yeah. Remember the chart in the beginning I created that sometimes the Khabar will be absent. In that case, the Mutalik Khabar is the Khabar. Yes. Yeah. So over here, I'm saying the Kitab is on the table. So what is the Khabar? That the book is on the table. Yeah. Al Imamu Fil Masjidi. Now here is the Imam, the actual Imam, the Imam of the Masjid. If the Imam is in the masjid. Is fil masjidi jar majroor? Yeah. Okay. Alhamdulillahi. Is lillahi jar majroor? Yeah. So here you can say al kitabu is muqtada and al al maktabi is jar majroor and is the khabar. Or you can say al al maktabi is shibu jumla and is the khabar. Are you guys with me, guys? Yes. Is now all this preparation we did from the beginning of the class like from this class when you see this page is everything coming together in your mind now starting slowly slowly <laughs> okay but it is coming the important part is is coming whether it's coming yes, slowly it's coming yes it's coming but you start to see that the thing i was trying to tell you you start to understand it now yes give me some good feeling guys uh, you know there are 14 people at least 14 people can say yes or no. Yes, uh, yes. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay, so yes. that will give me some <laughs> some, some satisfaction. Okay. So over here, if you... Brother Abed, yes. sorry. Yes. I just have a question. So yes. we can all be actually maybe clear. So when you talk about these where it's three types of cover, yeah. so you said that they're own, because we're focusing on only on the red ones and I understand that that yeah. you said that it could be a sentence in itself so there is yeah. no requirement of a muqtada a khabar can be a sentence itself and it does not require muqtada to be khabar yeah. I mean sorry to be a sentence yes so let's, let's see look at this right now we cover number one yes okay and number yes. one is the simplest one right Yes. So we got that. I'm going to number three and then mm -hmm. it will explain itself. But right now okay. we're at number two. We're talking about yes. Shibu Jumla, right? This yes. is the yes. new term. And I knew that the moment I use this word, it's going to throw you off. But now I'm trying to explain that what is the meaning of Shibu Jumla? Shibu okay. Jumla is literally another name for Jan Majroor or okay. when you have Zarf. And today we learned the Zarf. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the 2A column, Al-Kitabu mm -hmm. is Mubtada. We are not concerned about Mubtada right now because our focus is on the Khabar. Okay. Yes. So we are saying that the Khabar can be Jar Majroor. And we have already established that. That mm -hmm. in a normal sentence, we have Mubtada, Khabar, and we have Mutalik. Sometimes yes. the Khabar is missing and then the Mutalik becomes the Khabar. Yes? Yes. yes. And the Khabar can all, only be in the stat. The, the, the Khabar is one of the way a khabar can come as a shibu jumla. If it's a mm -hmm. shibu jumla, either it is going to be a jar majroor or it's going to be oh, a zarf. Yeah. 
Zef. Yeah. Yep. So in the column 2A, I'm giving you the example of Jar Majru as yeah. a Shibu Jumla. Yes. Yeah. Alal Maktabi is Jar Majru. Fil Masjidi, Jar Majru. Jar Majru. Billahi, Jar Majru. Jar Majru. Now let's focus our, our attention on 2B. Yeah. Al Kitabu is still the Muqtada. Yes. Mm -hmm. But instead of Alal Maktabi, I said Tahtal Maktabi. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tahta is now under the table. Under the yeah. table. Yes. yes. Is Tahta a Zarf? Yes. 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 But yeah. now look at this. Even though the Allah has changed into Tahta, but Al Maktabi is still in the status of Jar. Yeah. Yes. Because Tahta is a special kind of book. Yes. Al, -al Maktabi yeah. here is Mudafun Ilay. So still, this is a phrase, but it is a called a phrase of adverbial kind. This is a okay. Zarf. And then in 2B, this is still called Shibu Jumla, but this is the Shibu Jumla of the Zarf. And the first one, Shibu Jumla of Jar Majroor. Yeah, yeah. Is that making more sense? Yes. Okay. As Sayyaratu Amam al Baiti. The car okay. is in front of the house. Amama Masjidi is Zarf. Question? Yeah. yeah. So whenever there is a, um, a Zarf, Zarf. Yeah. Act as a, a um, jar. It, okay. Now remember, uh, I feel that whatever I've been doing all this time, you missed it. I said when there is zarf, is a special kind of mudaf. Okay, mudaf. Mudaf mean murakkab izafi. Mudaf mean there is mudaf in ilay. Yes, and then then I've been also saying there is a big resemblance between jar majroor and murakkab izafi. What is the similarity that the mudafun ilay is always jar, and in the jar majroor, the majroor part is always jar. Jar. Okay. So now let's let me hear your question again. I got it. I got, you got it. it. Okay. So here tahta is zarf, and zarf is a special kind of mudaf, and when it's a mudaf, there has to be a mudafun ilay. And Mudafun Ilay will always be in the status of Jar because we know that by now. Thank you very much. Okay. Number three. Uh, I think there is a question came from the chat. Brother Falak, you have a question? Uh, yes, Tom. What's yes, wrong? Uh, question is that is there any name of this uh, Shiva, right? Shibu Jumla. Shibu. Shibu Jumla is the, uh, another name. Like, uh, uh, this is the uh, other, like, Azafi, Murakka, uh, Jari, Ishari. Is there any name? Or this is the name of in, in, in uh, Urdu. Okay. Urdu. If you get to see a Jal and if you see them in the in the nominal sentence, you can call it Shibu Jumla. Right? If you see a Zarf, a Zarf will act as Muda. And there will be a mudafun alay. And if they come in the sentence, you can call it Shibu Jumla. Yeah? Okay. okay. And, and to answer you, most of you, a Shibu Jumla, a phrase, is either a Jarun wa Majroorun or Zarfun. Yes? Got it? Okay. So are we clear on number one, 2A and 2B? Yes. yes. Okay. Now we go to the jumla that a khabar can also be a jumla by itself. Okay. And the then how many type of jumlas we know exist in the Arabic language? Jumla ismiya or jumla failia, right? Since we don't know jumla failia, so we'll not worry too much about it. But we know jumla ismiya. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So look at the three A. Hamidun. Is Hamidun is Muptada? Yes. Okay. The khabar is a who who the Bibun. That Hamid is the brother of doctor's, doctor, doctor's brother. Okay. Now, if I take this notepad and if I hide this uh, uh, Hamidun, is a who who Tabibun, is it a Jumla Ismiya by itself? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, it, the, the translation we did was wrong. 
We said Hamidun Akhuhu Tabibun. Hamid is doctor's brother. Yes? yes. His brother is doctor. Sorry, the, the translation is Akhuhu, his brother is a doctor. Yes. We did the translation wrong the earlier. Yeah, yeah. Hamidun, we are saying who is Hamid? Hamid, we are saying Hamid, his brother is a doctor. We are giving a khabar about Hamid. What are the khabar we are giving about Hamid? That his brother is a okay. doctor. So, Ahu, there is a, deta there is a uh, detached uh, pronoun who? It's not detached pronoun, brother. It's uh, attached. Yeah, it's yeah, attached. yeah, attached. Because after wow, you cannot attach it. So, it has yeah, to yeah. be. Okay. So, Ahu, who? His brother. His brother. Is Ahu, who? Mudaf, Mudafun Yes. Yeah. Is Mudaf, Mudafun can become Muptada? Yes. Yeah. yes. So do you see this is Muptada and this is Khabar? Yes. Yeah. So this red part is a it's a it's a jumla ismiya itself. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we are saying in the number three A that the khabar can be a jumla ismiya by itself, even though this is a jumla ismiya within a jumla ismiya. Yeah. You guys see that? Fatima tu. In the ha sayaratun. Fatima tu in the ha sayaratun. That she had for with her is a car. Is in the ha sayaratun a jumla ismiya? Yeah. Yes. So the khabar can be a jumla ismiya. Agree? Yes. Zainabu. Fatima tu in the ha sayaratun. She has a car. Yeah. Fatima with her is a car. In the ha with her or near her or to, she to belong. Has the car. She has the car. She has the car. In the is normally near. So, you know, when we say Rahmatum min Indilla, that mm -hmm. Rahmat is from Allah. Yes. Yes. So, mm -hmm. you can use the word with and from in all, all other words. So, in the ha, she has a car. Let's put it this way. Okay. Zainabu laha tiflun sagirun. Now, tiflun sagirun, does it sound like Murakab Tosifi? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then laha is the muptada. La. Yes. No, yes. because laha has the jar majroor. Yeah. Or tiflun sagirun is the muptada. This is khabar mukaddam and muptada muakhir. Do you see that? Yes. So it's still jumla ismiya, but tiflun sagirun is the muptada, and laha is the the jar majroor or shibu jumla, which is the khabar mukaddam. Got it? Khabar Mukaddam or Khabar Mukaddam? Khabar Mukaddam, right, sir? Yeah. Khabar first <laughs> and Mubtada later. Because Khabar coming first, right? What so imagine. This sentence, brother. What's that again? The meaning of the sentence. Okay. Zainabun with her is a small boy or small child. Mm -hmm. What are we giving the khabar about Zainab? That with her is a small child. Laha tiflun kasirun. Sagirun. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So 3a is a khabar can also be a nominal sentence. Yes? And then look at jumla uh, failia. Bilalun kharaja min al fasli. Kharaja min fasli is a jumla failia. Bilal came out okay, of the yeah. class. Yeah. From the class. Amina tu zahabat ilal madrasati. Amina went to the school. So zahabat ilal madrasati jumla failia. So the khabar could be also a jumla failia. Okay. Hamidun jalasa alal kursi. Hamid is sitting, uh, Hamid sat on the chair. Yeah. Okay. So, Brother, yes. Yes. When when we in this jumla, uh, we cannot call it jumla failure because it starts with a name. But probably they gave the name. Uh, an actual uh, sentence will, might be kharajam al fasli. Yes. So if there is no Bilal, yes. If there is no Bilal, uh, all right. See, let's see if I can make it small. If there is no Bilal here, then it is a jumla failure, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I can I can't do this, but if I just hide it, for, imagine Bilal is not here. Yes. Then Kharaja Min Fasli is a Jumla failure. Yes. But over here, 
جملہ فیلیا از کمنگ ایز دا خبر آف فور بلال ہوا خارجہ من فاصل اف یو ڈونٹ یوز دی بلال if you if you if you don't use bilal if you use hua then hua is mubtada kharaj min fasl is still khabar that's right yeah kharaj yeah. so, look, look re, try to pay attention what are we saying the khabar can be of of these three types it can be a mufrad it can be a shibu jumla when you say shibu jumla you're either dealing with jar majroor or a zarf if you're dealing with a jumla then it, it could either be a jumla ismiya or it could be a jumla failiya now I'm going to leave this with you guys to read it and then inshallah you will have better idea because this is just a khabar. The red part is the khabar but the khabar itself is coming in the form of another jumla. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, Now, bro- sorry, Brother Abad, when, yes. when you're talking obviously about in this last column, the third, we are, our focus is on the writing which is in red. Yes. So obviously, we are not looking at Bilal. So the Kharaja Min Fasli is a starting... Is a jumla failure. Is a, obviously, it's a fail. Starting yes. with the fail. Yes. And over here in the Hamidun Akhwan Tayyib, Tayyibun, again, yes. it's a starting with... We are focusing on the Akhwan Tayyibun. Is yes. that correct? Not yes. Hamidun. But we are focusing on that. But at the same time, we are taking that as the khabar of Hamid. Because... The yes, whole of idea course. is yes. this. Of yes, course. so we cannot uh, eliminate Hamid from the picture. We are saying okay. that Hamid is Muptada, but the khab- khabar about Hamid is coming in the form of another nominal sentence. sentence. Or Bilalun yes, Kharajam in Fasli is coming as a verbal sentence. So that is the important okay. part to keep in mind. Makes sense. So, yes. So over here, the last part, if you want to understand, a, in a nominal sentence, a Shibu Jumla will always be a khabar. Even though the sentence may begin with it, right? We said, even if the Jar Majroor comes in the beginning of the sentence, it will can never be Muptada. For example, Fil Bayti Rajulun. Can we say Fil Bayti is Muptada? No. No. It will always be Khabar. Yes? Amam al Bayti Hadikatun. Amam al Bayti can never be Muptada. It will always be Khabar. Yeah. Because Hadikatun is the the mubtada now one thing about khabar khabar is always marfu khabar is always marfu marfu but khabar can be indefinite or definite but mostly it is indefinite yes. what does that mean khabar is nakira right yes, yes. but khabar can also be marifa but the frequency of khabar becoming marifa is very little compared to Nakira. Yeah. If I say Ana Abidun, what, what khabar I gave you? Ana is Muptada. Khabar is what? Yeah. That I am Abid. Can no. Abid be indefinite? No. No, because yeah. I am a proper name. Abid yes. is a proper name. Yes. So they're saying that the khabar is always going to be Rafa, no doubt about that. But it could be Nakira or Marifa. But very few times it can be Marifa. But most of the time it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The the term Shibu Jumla is applied only when it comes as a khabrun in a nominal sentence. I have been repeating myself all along that whenever you see in the context of a nominal sentence, if there is a jar majroor or zarf, you can call it Shibu Jumla. Yes. So th- this is when it is called Shibu Jumla. when you see it in the context of a nominal sentence. Follow? Yeah. And it is always khabar. It is applied only when it comes as a khabar in a nominal sentence. Okay? If this kind of phrase comes in a verbal sentence, it is not called a shibu jumla. It is only called shibu jumla in the case of a nominal sentence. Because what is our focus on in this class? The nominal sentence. In the Verbal sentence, we will come across Jar Majroor and Zarf, but we will not call it Shibu Jumla. Is that clarified, clarifying things for you? Yes. Yeah. Because Zahaba is a verbal sentence. Yeah. Ilal Masjidi. So we cannot say Alal Ilal Masjidi is Shibu Jumla. It's going to be still called Jar Majroor. Or Mukab Jari, right? Jalasal Waladu Tahta Shajarati. Now Tahta Shajarati is Zarf, right? Yes. Yeah. So it will not be called Shibu Jumla, it will only be called Jar Majroor. Jar Majroor. Zarf, Zarfun, right? Yeah. This is Tahta yeah. is Zarfun. 
Got it. It will be only shibujumla and only in nominal sentence. Yes, 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 you have to remember this part. The term shibujumla is applied only when it comes as a khabar in a nominal sentence. Okay. Okay. So uh, with this, inshallah, you will have this document. You still have this document with you. Um, I told Brother Naseeb, I will ask him to add something. Brother Naseeb, do you have anything to add or we ha I have covered mostly everything? No, no, you've covered it. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, so please, uh, if this class, uh, if, I'm sure you got 60 to 80 or maybe more than 70%. But if you did not, then I expect you to review this document and we can re revisit it in the next session. What do you guys Inshallah. say about that? Okay. Inshallah. So before we go, I just want to quickly, you know, benefit from the Quran. And I want to show you the ayah of wudu. And if you have not seen it, inshallah, this will help you understand where the wudu came from. Okay. So it's from Surah al maida And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is guiding us or telling us what to do. So, a'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu. O people, O you who believe. Meaning the believers. Ida kumtum when you stand up, ilas salati for the prayer. Ilas salati is it jar majroor? Yeah, jar majroor, yeah. right? Ila is yeah. a jar, a salati majroor. Yeah. This is murakkab jari. Yeah. silu when you stand up for your prayer, what do you do? Fag silu then wash. Wash. When you say I'm doing ghusl, what are you doing basically? You're washing yourself, right? Yes. You're yeah. taking a shower. Yeah. Silu is a fail amr, meaning it's a command. Command. Yeah. Wuju Wuj, Wuj his face. Yeah. Wuju is the plural of face. Your faces. Your faces. Your faces. This kum is attached pronoun. Attached pronoun. Yes. And wuju is a noun. When there is the attached pronoun with a noun, when there is the attached pronoun with a noun, it is become murakkab izafi. Your oh. faces. Yes. Is, there, is there a possession? Who is the possessor of your face? You are the possessor of your face, right? Yes. There is, your possessed is the face and you are the possessor. So, wajuhakum is murakkab izafi. Can you see it? Yes. So, what do you do? You wash your faces. Wa'aidiyakum. Aidiya hands. How many hands you have? Two. 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 And Mudaf -mudaf. attach pronoun. Mudaf -mudaf so, where do you, how you, you wash your face? Then you wash your hands up to where? Ilal marafiqi. Till the elbows. So you're going to wash up to your elbows. So Allah SWT is telling, wash your hands up to the elbows. Is ilal marafiqi murakkab jari? Yeah. Ila. Okay. Then after that, vam, sa, uh, vam sahu bi rausikum. And wipe. Masakaro. Kiska bi rausikum. Your heads. Is your heads murakkab izafi? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you see the resemblance? There is kum, there is kum, there is kum. Yes. Yeah. Arjulakum, arjulakum, and your feet. Are you the possessor of your feet? You are yes. feet are possessed by you. So arjulakum murakkab izafi. Up to where? Ilal kabain till the ankles. Ankles. Yes. Yeah. So this is the ayah of wudu. And again, you the Quran doesn't give you all the details. Then the, the details come from the Sunnah. Yeah. Yes. And in the Sunnah, there is a wudu. The wudu has some sunan and some fara'id. So these are the fara'id. Anything other than that, you will find in the in the wudu will be the sunan. The sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And in order to understand that, you would have to go and learn the fiqh of wudu from your sheikh. Whether he is going to follow the Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, or Hanbali. But whatever you follow, we all have a similarity or, you know, agreement on how to do the wudu. Yes? Yeah. Okay. After that, there are times when you need a full shower instead of just wudu. And what are those conditions? Wa in kuntum junuban fattaharu. So if you are in the state of ceremonial impurity, if you're in the status of Janaba, then wudu alone will not be sufficient. You have to purify yourself, meaning you would have to take a shower. 
and we know that also. Again, the Quran does not go into the details, but there are some exceptions. So, first of all, you, you can make wudu and the shower only if you have water. Can you do wudu and shower without water? No. Okay, but can there be conditions that when you are not able to use water? Yeah. Okay. For for example, the water is not available. What are you going to do? Or if you are sick. So then the Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is now giving us the scenarios. He says, "Wa in kuntum marda." So if you are ill, if you are if you are sick, aw ala safarin, and if you are in a journey, aw ja ahadum min kum min al gait, or you came from the washroom, aw la mastumun nisaa, or you had contact with your wives. Or with the with the women, falam taji damaa, and after that, or in these conditions, if you cannot find the water, then you do fatayyamamu. Then you do the tayyamum. Do we have the concept of tayyamum in our deen? Yeah. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is telling us make wudu, take a shower if you need to take a shower, and if you are in in these condition and you can't find the water, you still need. To purify yourself, for that you use tayyamum. And how do you do that? Tayyidan tayyiba with the clean earth, with with the soil, with the mud, with the dust. Provided it is clean, right? And how do we do it? Fam sahu bi wajuhi kum wa aydiya kum min. And in that case, and again, you have to refer back to your sheikh for giving you the fiqh of tayyamum. And in the tayyamum, you don't have the you don't have to do the gargle. Are you going to do gargle with the soil? No. no. Are you going to put the gar the dust in your nose? No. no. So no. you are going to only wipe your faces and no. your hands. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And after that, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying, "Ma yuridu Allahu," that Allah does not intend liyajala alaykum min haraj that He caused you difficulty to make for you any difficulty. Walaki yuridu liyutahhirakum, but he wants you. He intends to purify you. Wali yutimma neamatahu, and he wants to complete his favor. Alaykum upon you, la Allah kum tashkurun, so that you can be grateful. Now, once we had this this uh, fle flexibility of tayammum, do we feel blessed that our deen is not rigid? Yes. What if you are sick and you cannot use water because the water will make you more sick? Yeah. Right. So Alhamdulillah, the, if when you read Quran, Inshallah, if it you open your heart to it, then you start to see the the mercy of Allah. That how these ayahs, that how Allah is uh, telling us that He doesn't want any difficulty for you. He wants to, but still He wants to purify you and He wants to uh, complete His nema nema who. His favor is Nematahu Murakab Izafi. Yeah. Yes. How many people see Nematahu is Murakab Izafi? Nematahu. It is. Yes. Murakab Izafi, right? Because yeah. if you are thrown off by the who, who is the attached pronoun? Yes. Attached pronoun of Jar. Because yeah. Nema is Mudaf. Yeah. Who is Mudaf Nile? Yeah. See, this is where you guys need to go a little bit deeper. You need to keep challenging yourself. Alaykum, Jar Majroor. Alaykum, yes. Right. So, inshallah, I, I hope that I only had time for covering this one ayah, but I I hope and I feel that you guys can see the benefit of this. And inshallah, read Quran like this. Try to use this tool as much as possible. Now, I have one homework for you. This is um, Quran uh, Corpus Quran, and I want you to read Surah Naba. With from this tool, okay. And what I when I say read meaning, I want you to go and look at these descriptions. Read these descriptions. Like what is the meaning of amma? What is the meaning of yatasa alun? You will find many examples of jumla ismiya in this surah, and you will also see the variation of the mutalli coming in the beginning. Okay, you will see. Multiple khabars. You will see different ways of Jumla Ismiya. So what is the homework? Reading this document entirely based on this detail. I'm going to give you these page numbers. Okay. In, yeah. in my WhatsApp, I'm going to say 
please read these pages as a homework and also read from this tool the surah naba inshallah okay can i count on you guys are you going to inshallah listen to me and do it or are you just going to say no I'm, we don't no, care no 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 we will obey you okay is everybody students. is everybody promising that they're going to do it inshallah inshallah okay. if you do it i'll take it as a thank you from you guys we are we are most obedient students <laughs> alhamdulillah now we ran out of time but just give me one more minute i have shared this document with you is called uh, the booklet yes the prophet's dua trust me if you read this you will you will benefit from it it's very very good mashallah so please read it on your own time I, i wanted to cover this from the arabic point of view but today we ran out of time inshallah we will talk about it jazakallahu khairan subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa